It's Einstein Tuesday. From now on, every Tuesday, I'll be making videos exclusively about Albert Einstein and nothing else ever again. Today's video, what was Einstein's favorite color? Red. All right, that's it. See you next week for another exciting episode of Einstein Tuesday. Okay, but seriously, here's a cool story. In 1917, Albert Einstein made a modification to his general theory of relativity where he added a new universal force called the cosmological term. Basically, by doing a number of calculations on the theoretical motion of the universe, he determined that by gravity alone, the universe should have collapsed in on itself long ago. To fix this, he added the cosmological term, a hypothetical outward force making his model of the universe a static one, neither expanding nor collapsing. The general belief at the time was that the universe had always existed in roughly the state it's in now with no beginning or end, so Einstein made his theory fit that assumption. However, he neglected to do a small part of the calculation that would have told him that even the slightest disturbance to his model of the universe would have caused it to either collapse or expand outward indefinitely. Had he done this, Einstein would have been able to see that the universe can't possibly be static. He would have been able to predict that the universe is expanding, and possibly some of the Big Bang years before Hubble's observations of the expanding universe. Einstein came to say that his introduction of the cosmological constant was the greatest blunder of his life. And in all fairness, it was a pretty big mess up. He was so set in one understanding of the way things were that he ignored what the data was telling him in order to make it fit his assumption. He done goofed, and it cost him what could have been one of the greatest achievements of his life. But I think it's also important to note that nobody remembers Einstein as the guy who didn't discover the expanding universe. We remember him as Einstein, the guy that brought a special relativity and general relativity and countless other discoveries that completely changed the way scientists understand the physical world. Einstein's greatest blunder is an interesting bit of trivia, but we remember him by his successes. We remember him perhaps most of all by what he came to call the happiest thought of his life the equivalence principle, E equals mc squared. The idea that mass and energy might be the same stuff was a revolutionary idea, one that only Einstein could have thought up. And that's how we remember him, by his happiest thought, not his greatest blunder. And while I'm sure I've not yet had my happiest thought or experienced my greatest blunder, I'm a little bit comforted by the fact that it's our successes that define us, and not our blunders. Well, at least if you're Einstein.